Okay, uh, so right before we jump right back into our awesome presentation for the night, uh, which actually work habit's going to be finishing off tonight, and then we'll have about 15, 20 minutes to kind of mingle and have all the sodas, so I don't have to take any home. Uh, and, no, it's okay. And, um, I still want to field up to two more community questions from the crowd. If anybody has a question they need to ask the Drupal community. Yes? Yes, I would like to know if uh, it is possible to hook into the taxonomy module every time a term is called, so that I know when it's called and I can uh, change the thing. Okay, somebody want to field this? Could you repeat the question? Yeah, uh, the gentleman is asking, uh, can I tap into the taxonomy module every time a term is... Loaded, I guess, yeah. Okay. Not Called. all the time, because I know I can do it if it's modified. I want to know if it's possible to do it when it's uh, loaded. Okay, so the gentleman, he says that he can actually uh, get information back when a taxonomy item is modified, but when it's added or called, he would like uh, some kind of feedback. Christopher? Oh, I just need that clarification. I was wondering if you meant the taxonomy term page or, or you mean when it's actually when any, any replaced with another one when it's edited? No, not when it's edited, when it's uh, loaded, it's called the page view or not, it's lost. You want to be able to change what it says or something like that? Yeah. Change where it links to? Yeah. So it seems like when a taxonomy term or category yeah. is actually it's literally viewed. Taxonomy redirect model. Taxonomy redirect. Okay, the answer was to look into the taxonomy redirect module, and it seems like that would actually probably do it for uh, the gentleman. Cool, thank you. Second question? No? Last call? If, if anyone else has a question, please take my place. And I, I, I mean that, I, I've been speaking a lot. So, did Mark, did you have a question? You know what, I was just going to ask if the presentation will be put online or somewhere we can access it. Um, it's going to be stored in a vault. Actually, Mike Stewart has been gracious enough to bring down his camcorder and tripod uh, and brought enough tape to take care of recording tonight. And so Mike will be uh, pretty much figuring I'll, that one out later. Yeah, I'll convert it. Uh, it'll be on GDO and LA Drupal. I'll put okay. a link. And for those who don't know, DrupalCon Boston, which was in March, oh. every session was recorded. And they're, up. and they're finally up. It took yeah. forever. <laughs> and you've got to thank those people who did all that transcoding on their own machines. A lot of tape. No. <laughs> right? And a lot of tape to go through. So if you missed the Boston you Con. We were look and figure out what we had to label them afterwards. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> so where were you find Uh Actually. Archive.org. Archive.org, yes. Archive.org. And we'll put it up actually on the, the, the resource page and uh, the links. And actually, uh, too bad I didn't get it in the pamphlet in time. But it'll be in the pamphlet next time. So. Okay, uh, cool. Well, thank you to those community members who both asked and answered the questions. Uh, we're going to be finishing off with Adam, and uh, he's going to be completing this awesome, awesome session tonight. Thank you. Adam again. I, I don't know that I'm going to be completing it. <laughs> um, I don't know that I'm going to be completing it because I don't even know that I'm a third of the way through everything that I had. I didn't know how much, you know, the, if the audience was going to go, man, eh, this is interesting, I'd skip along. So I've got a lot of material and a flight in an hour and 40 minutes or so out of LAX. So you have a flight tonight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk about autopilot? Speaking of the place. Yeah. yeah. So. Cloud <laughs> computing. Um, let me jump. Uh, it's amazing what you can find on Flickr, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Is this uh, PDF available anywhere online? I, this one's not, but it could be without too much trouble. You know, I, it really bugs me that. that PowerPoint on the Mac will not allow me to start a slideshow from any random spot. No way. I actually have to start. I think that's ridiculous.